Hello, T gamers, and I'm 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 Alex, and or Cosdron as you probably know me from our what was it Calumet Nightmare series, our time lapses. Well, I've my computer, it's, my laptop is really rubbish, and but there's one game I can record, and that's Dawn of War: The Dark Crusade. So I thought, uh, because Paul and me needed some videos, that I would do a uh, let's play of it, but I'm not going to do a let's play now because there are armies which you can pick from. If you get, oh, oh, oh look. there are armies which you can pick from the Necrons and Space Marines and all the, all of them. But I'll play a skirmish and let you guys decide what army I should play the campaign as now. My, pers my, I have all the, most of the Warhammer games, and this is my favourite one. And my preferred army is Necrons to play as the campaign in, because they're relatively easy to play in, and well, they pretty much get the job done. But I, I'll, I will let you guys decide which army I should play. Now I am a, a very, I collect, I've collected war, well, I collect Warhammer. And I um, also really love the games. I have played Space Marine, uh, the new one, and I, I didn't find it that good. It, it was good, just got a bit repetitive, and my computer can't record that. So I thought, how about I play Dawn of War, which is my favourite game of the War ha Dawn of War series. So I'm going to play Skirmish, and uh, pretty much. It's just a you pick uh, you get a list you can play up to two f to eight um, computers including yourself of course and um, and I'm gonna play a now I did play an eight by eight once but I I played it on the first time I ever played standard difficulty and. I failed a lot because your your allies don't do much. So I'm gonna play a four by four. Let's uh, which map? Torrent. Yeah, let's do torrent. And uh, now the jump from easy difficulty to standard difficulty is quite big, I think, because pretty much you go from not being attacked to getting attacked quite a lot. But I've played a couple games and I've realized 4x4 is pretty much the only one I can play where I don't get killed instantly. I like playing on Destroy HQ, you can see there are my options right there which I put. And random teams, I want everyone to be random. Is that in the options? Um, I forgot where the ra everyone random is. Um. Oh, oh! I need to set myself as random. That's why. And well, let's go. Now, Dawn, Dawn of War, or most Dawn of War games besides Number Two and Space Marine, are pretty much uh, games where you build build up a base, build up an army, and attack everyone else. And I think there's a lot of games like oops, Age of Empires and Age of Mythology in which it's based in old times. They are not, in my opinion, I don't know, you can correct me if you want, but there aren't that many games that I think are very futuristic in the uh, build a base, build an army thing. Um, I don't know if, what is it, Anno 2012 is like that, but I, I've never played it and pretty much this is my f favourite sort of game building bases and one of the f personally one of the, my favorite things favorite sort of things to base a game around war on uh, Warhammer of course and I think it it works really well what am I I'm the Imperial Guard oh great one of the weakest armies in the game in this game uh, they do get good they got some good units some strong good units but their morale sucks Anyway, I was thinking, I say anyway a lot, I was thinking about 
doing the tutorial but there was a lot of narration over it by the um, person so I'll just give you a brief overview pretty much yeah I've got an ally here there's a town you start off with a uh, main base and a builder depending on which army you are the builder and you just you want to grow an army and for the map your enemies are here and here and you want to grow up an army to defeat your enemies like any uh, game like this and um, pretty much in, in easy difficulty you can take it relatively slow you know just do it you, you get there in the end you will but in standard you got to get start doing it quite fast really quick and just make sure you've got like six squads already by the time uh, you've got your uh, by the time you've upgraded your HQ now we, there are two main main resources well there are two resources they're not they are the main ones and they are the only ones which is power which you get from power um, power gen plasma generators and uh, requisition resource which you get from strategic points throughout the map they are purple on the map there's a list of uh, thing uh, the key for the map and um, what they do is they will increase your acquisition resource it's well, it's like a goal you you can have a setting where if you have over 50 percent of the uh, strategic points on the map you uh, there's a countdown to the end of the game and whoever has them wins and your enemies is you can't just you don't get strategic points and they're just yours your enemies can recapture them but uh, the way to defend that is building listening posts on them which are I think they are also detectors where they can detect uh, en uh, infiltrated enemies which are enemies that are invisible and uh, also if you upgrade them they can have a mounted gun on them now I'm just going to get some more tech priests and um, and and that's how you get, which is pretty much the main resources requisition. You still do need power for the much advanced units, and that that is pretty much the gist of the start of the game. Now you want to build your army. You uh, with the Imperial Guard, you build your army mainly of Guard squads. I normally get, but there are a lot more units. Seen here, you got. Heavy weapons team, uh, Karskin, I don't know how to pronounce that, and Orgs, or whatever they're called. And um, you, you build up the army, you can you can reinforce squads, they're not just five people, you can reinforce them, you can make them have stronger weapons, and it's you can have huge small armies, really strong small armies, to huge weak armies quite weak armies with weak units in it just depends because you some weapons like the grenade launcher well they're long range and they're actually quite good for um, take it uh, taking out uh, units which have heavy weapons where first they have to deploy then they have to shoot which means if you hit them with a grenade launcher they have to get back up then pick up and then uh, we uh, I suppose we deploy we set up whatever however you want to put it and uh, as pretty much the army bases you want your main buildings you got buildings over buildings in which you build, uh, the barracks the tech this is pretty much where you upgrade your main people and here we go so I hate the orcs because all they do is they just get into melee and kill you. And I've been blabbering on too much and haven't got up my army. But what I do with the Mihil card is because they have such weak uh, morale, I get them having. Uh, oh, am I going to take out Strayer? I get them having rock uh, the grenade launchers to make sure that um, they can stay at long range and 
pummel down enemies that get close. 